I think definitely, if you ask me again tomorrow, maybe I would have switched out. Let me actually look. What, what would I may have switched it out with? Do you, like, you have a list of the songs that like you? Were yeah. So about? like I was thinking about I, oh my girls liar liar. Oh, I was thinking about the um, song as well. And I actually really like Kitty this B Kitty song. B uh, yeah. doing good song. Yeah. Like I think the Kitty B song is the best. That song is the best girl rapping song I've heard. This- not, not only this, this year, year, but like in the last two, two years. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aside from Puss, but like only because Puss is just so hilarious. Yeah. Um, but like I really like Kitty B song. Oh, um, Better Man. I, I yeah. really like the Better Man song. See, I with thought Bumkey. Yeah, I thought Mighty Mouth would be. Uh, no, no, Mighty no. Mouth was very close. I really like Snacky Chan out of time, time. featuring Bets Babylon. Well. I really like that song. Yeah. Um, I have uh, Laboom. Weirdly enough, Laboom, Fresh Adventure on there. Um, and Jay Parker song. There. You know, in a song like that, strangely, almost made my list. Uh, Minx, Minx oh, is on my oh mind. My, my. I don't know what it is baby, about that song. Baby, it's just like it's, baby, there's nothing my. really like crazy special about it, but it's just but no, it the just thing, gets into my brain. The thing about it is that no other song sounds like that. Yeah. Right, and so like when you say there's nothing special, but it's like it That's is special, special by special being comparison, being kind of. Plain, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also like I, I, it was never going to be on my list, mm. but like, I think another song that I do enjoy a lot mm. is Brave Girls Deep It Deep Deep End Deepened Deepened yeah. Depended it Deepened, depended, depended. Uh, because there's just no other girl group song that sounds like that. Plus, it is a Brave Sound song, but Brave Sound in the Electro Boy style, and you know mm-hmm. how much I love Electro Boys. Mm-hmm. Um, but like. Again, like, for example, we just watched three girl groups, right? Mm-hmm. We watched Goo Goo Don, we watched yeah. Sonamu, and we watched... What was the first one we watched? Uh, hold on, let me think. Um... Shit. Can't remember. We, we were gonna... We, have... we watched three, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, Sonamu was... Second. Second. Goo Goo Don was Goo-Goo-Don last. Was um, the first one probably was by some group that was recommended to us on Slack. I don't know. All that matters is, yeah. like, th- a lot of those songs just sound like they're trying to be something else, mm. trying to do something else, and, like, it's the Mink any, song yeah, is like, just so different. It's just so... Uh, it really uh, is. Uh, uh, not in, like, damn, they're doing new shit, but just they didn't follow the same trend that a lot Slack, of girls are, 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 are following. Uh, it's not Melody Day. It's not Sonomu. As always, professional on the after Yeah, show super show. not... Not still in the middle. Are you gonna find it? Maybe. Probably not. Oh, no. Maybe we only watch two. No, I'm pretty All sure. Right. I can you find it. What? I can let's find it, it by going the history right now. Okay. Um. Pardon us. Come on, let's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that my out here. Um. We do a podcast. This is right. after. It was Brave, Brave Girls. Girls. We just talked about Brave Girls. Yeah, it was Brave Holy Girls. Holy shit. It was Brave Girls. Uh, high, high heels. Hills. And like, uh, that's a good example. Because like, mm. Deep End was so different. It was different. It may be not the greatest song in the world, but it was very different. Mm-hmm. But like, this new song is like, it, it, didn't, it didn't even sound Brave Soundy. It just it sounded, sounded very noisy. It sounded like a knockoff of Brave Sound. Or like, like a, someone was copying Brave yeah, Sound. Yeah, or like a knockoff Double Psychic song. Yeah. But without the Double Psychic flavor and without the... And less more trashy shots. Yeah. And the Sonamu song was like four different songs put yeah. together. And Sonamu is like kind of known for being a little bit more tough. And they come up with this really cutesy concept. Well, really they fair. did the tough thing like only once and then... Then they didn't promote for like an entire year because everyone wanted to forget about it. That's true. Um, and then the Goo Goo Dawn song, it just like I, I fully understand why that Mink, Mink song stands out because it's, it's really different it, than the songs really out right now. And, and I, I, I did really, I did enjoy baby, that song. Baby, 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 um, oh, those are my bills. Um, uh, but yeah, so we want to end, of course, with three more Slack top fives. Yes, yes. As you can see, they're they're just so different. Mm. Uh, this next guy's crazy different. Yeah. So um, this next guy, uh, Archingu Rick, uh, his number one is "Whatever" by Usung Wu, featuring Crucial Star. Number two, "You're the Best" by Mamamoo. Number three, "Hogu" by Giddy Boy and Brother Sue. Uh, number Ooh. four, "No Sense" by Sam Kim, featuring Crush. And number five, Cook for Love by K. Will, Junkie, Go, Ju Young, and Brother Sue. Mm. So you, you like you like that Brother likes, Sue? He likes Brother Sue. Well, he likes the uh, uh, kind of more. Well, actually, I don't remember the Geary Boy one. 
I do remember that song, but like. I'm really not a fan of Gary yeah. Boy. So. I was going to say likes more of the ballady ones because the Usung Wu is more of a ballad with the beat. Sam Kim, right? Yeah, 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 ballad with the beat. Yeah. I, I don't remember this Cook for Love, but Cook I'm going to assume, kind of like, I'm gonna assume it sounded, with the beat. It sounded a little OST-ish, mm. um, but it's it's more of like a love song rather than ballad. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. actually, Mama Moo's uh, was, was very close too. Yeah, it was on my list as well Yeah, for maybe. Um The next one is by ZSteve81. This Chingu says, number one is CLC's High Heels. Hmm. Uh, number two is Ladies Code Galaxy. Number three, Jessica's Love Me the Same. Number four, Tiffany's Fool. And number five, Lady Co- Ladies Code My Flower. Hmm. It's very interesting. interesting. All girl groups. Yeah. High Heels actually uh, was also one of the songs that was close-ish. Yeah, I really um, like High Heels as well. Yeah. Um, I think you like the newer one more, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, no, oh, no, or oh, no, oh, or I don't know what I think it's called. Oh, oh, no, no. I don't know. Oh, no, uh, no. But I think, I think I may end up in the long run liking High Heels more. I don't know. Um, uh, I, oh, no, no, no. Um, who knows? Who knows? All right. Last one, Josh. All right. So the last one is by our longtime chingu, Diggy, with, uh, number one being Someone Like You, Dal Shabet. Number two, <laughs> Like an Airplane, Sonny and Gary. Number three, Woo by Rainbow. Number four, Nice to Meet You by Mighty Mouth and Soya. Number five, Deepened by Brave Girls. Rainbow's Woo? I, I, Not I, a bad song. I actually, that was that was also a song that I was like, woo. It's grown on me. Yeah. Woo-woo-woo. I do not remember this Dalsha Best song. Clap, clap. Yeah. Clap, clap. Uh, clap, clap. Do you remember this Dalsha Best song? I do not. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, is this the one it's with the like one the four girls? Are they doing this? This choreography point where they're like uh, owls? Is that the one? I don't know, man. I don't uh, know. I th- I think though. I actually, I think I remember not liking this song when we first heard it, but like liking it a little bit more later on. It's. It, I mean, it, if it if it's what I'm thinking of, with like there is like only four girls left or something. We'll we will listen to it afterwards and yes. remind our memories. Man, now I rec- now I kind of want to put "Nice to Meet You" on. I do. Really you know, like it changes. So. It, we yeah. knew it was going to change, but let's just stick with that for this after show show. Yes. So, if you know you're not one of our Slack chingus, yeah. please tell us your top five. You can mm-hmm. either leave it on the YouTube comments if I ever put this on YouTube because I've been yeah. really late about YouTube stuff recently. Um, or of course, you can uh, send it to us on Twitter mm-hmm. at This Week in Kpop. You can send it by emails thisweekinkpopgmail.com. And don't forget, of course, that you can help us out on Patreon or you can yes, help you can. us out by donating directly to us on PayPal. Um, we have, we really want to make this new podcast, this new yeah. special episode where we kind of in, like have a very low key discussion interview with just people who live in Korea yeah. about kind of their life and if they have any relationship with K-pop yeah. at all. Um, and we really want to do that, but we yeah. need to reach uh, three hundred dollars on, uh, yeah. on uh, like Patreon. we like we have person lined up. We've kind of have questions we want to ask, and we really really want to put it out. Yeah. So, so hopefully, you can help, help us, us get there. Yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully we can do that. Yeah. And uh, until next main episode next week, we out. Bye. It's hot as fuck.